hello guys this is Ali and welcome to the third part of this video tutorial in last video tutorial we have seen that how to bind data grid with database value we have seen that how to change the date format we also bind the list view with database value we also learn about the template today we will hook up some client side events and we will see how to use the javascript in Telerik UI which is very easy basically so let's start first of all guys I want to select the first item in list view by default to do this open up the index view Telerik provides some HTML helper that can invoke the JavaScript method so write dot events data bound this will invoke the javascript method so the method name is on list data bound copy the method name from here and find the script section at the bottom of the page create a javascript method here paste the name of the method in employee class select first save the changes and run the project ok now guys the first item is selected by default in page load after this I want to display the employee image along with the full name right here when user click on any item in the list view to do this we need to invoke a javascript function we will use the change event write the name of the function the function name is on criteria change after this we need to create a template I already typed the template code to save our time I will just copy and paste it right here go to the template section and paste it right here this will render the image of employee and this will display the full name of employee ok now we need to create another function so go to the script section this will get the selected employee data employee list into list view employee equals employee list data, data source get by UID employee list Attribute data issue 
ID return employee okay you will create another function to update the employee info copy this get selected employee function and assign here write the name of the template we will copy the name of the template from here and paste it right here dot html display template and after this HTML template okay now we will create another function to invoke this function so copy this paste it right here and we will copy the function name from above on criteria chain copy it and paste it right here we have done now save the changes and run the project this should display the selected employee at the top of the page there we go so when user click on any employee in the list view this will display the full name and image at the top of the page okay that's it for today guys in next tutorial we will display data about the selected employee in data grid so please like comment and subscribe my channel and watch the next tutorial thanks for watching